Hola mi gente, what's going on baby, it's your guy, Red Butler, your brand manager, your brand strategist, your guy. I'm on your team, and you know we do this every morning, it is morning motivation, and I'm here to get you ready to start this day. If you are on the East Coast, today is the 24th of July, and it's raining, I'm in Washington DC currently, it is raining, but like I always tell you guys, number one, especially this month, July. This is the last full week of the month. And this is the, the first month of the last six months of the year. Again, you guys know I pull no punches. I keep it 100% real with you and absolutely gully. If you haven't completed the things you wanted to get done, or at least half of them, within the first six months of the year, you've played yourself. That's right. We got it out. We got it out. And I'm going to always say this to you. Now you have the last six months of the year. And this was the first month of it. The last full week of the first month of the last six months right now. I know I'm saying a lot of numbers, but you're catching up. You're with me. I want you to have a sense of urgency, which is why I'm saying this repetitively. A sense of urgency is something most people lack, actually, especially if you're in your comfort zone. That's what I want to talk about today on Morning Motivation. How to get out of the comfort zone. Let me tell you something. I tell this to people all the time who don't know me and want to understand um, how I initially created, um, you know, the sense of urgency for myself and made myself feel like I have to constantly uh, be moving. So I used to make myself very uncomfortable in my 20s, especially. I'm in my 30s now, late 30s. But in my 20s, I wouldn't buy a, a good bed. I wouldn't buy a bed frame. I wouldn't buy furniture. I did everything to keep myself out the house. That was my motivation. I said, listen, if I stay at home and it's comfortable here, then I'm going to sink into the couch, enjoy television a little more, enjoy, you know, the proclivities that I like to have on my, on my free time a little more. And I'll forget to do other things, make new relationships, hustle a little harder than your average. So I made myself uncomfortable. What I realized was I still had to work on myself here and here. Right. I had to make sure that I didn't feel too lofty, um, too, too, too comfortable in my surroundings, because if I did, I wouldn't have the same motivation, but that, that, that's something that starts here. So then as I got older, I realized, no, Rhett, you can have a nice bed. You can have a nice couch. You can have nice things. You're still going to get out the house. You're still going to be motivated. You're still going to do what you have to do, right? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the rainbow, you chose this life. Nobody gave this to you. And at the end of the day to own it, you have to be about what your intentions are. And you have to fully own those intentions. Okay, it's not up to anybody else. It's up to you. And what that means very, very succinctly is that you have to always be motivated, looking towards the future and constantly having the battery in your back to get to the next level. So, as of right now, during this last full week of the first month of the last six months of the year, what you should be thinking about already is 2019. If you're not thinking about 2019 already, yet again, you're playing yourself. We're going to clap for that. Why are we clapping? Because with admission of mistake comes correction of said mistake. A lot of you guys can't get the chip off your shoulder enough to say, I've dropped the ball. I've messed up. My mind didn't think past whatever. Okay. So, here I am to tell you, get yourself together by doing one first thing. One. Just one. Admit where you're faulty. And it's okay. Get past it. And you don't need to make this a big deal with your friendship base. If you need confirmation of your mistake, of your malaise, of your lack of um, putting together a schedule to keep you in pocket for your own goals... That's cool. Talk to people about it. I don't need to do that. What I need to do, and I know most people need to do, is get real with themselves without, without an audience. An audience provides added pressure that you don't really need right now. Right now, it's about you. It's not about the audience. It's not about your friends, your family. It's about you. No one's going to be here for the tough times but you. No one's going to be here when it's hard. No one's going to be here when you're broke. No one's going to be here to care. Uh-oh, spoiler alert, nobody cares, okay? 
Get over yourself. If you're lucky enough, if you're lucky enough, and if you're lucky enough to have anybody that actually cares about what's going on in your brain, what you're thinking about, what your ambitions are, how you're going to make it happen, man, salute and strong J to you. I'm giving out a lot of applause this morning. Why? Because I want you to appreciate what you have, not what you do not. There are those who are silently supporting you. You have no idea about this. Everybody who hits that like button, everybody who sends you a DM, emails you, text you, those who care about you, those who you might not even see a lot, but they're always virtually there for you on these modalities, right? Social media. That's it. You got them. Those are your supporters. So be happy with what you have. The other people will be convinced once you show and prove. This is a lifelong journey. It doesn't stop. That's why I do morning motivation. This is a test for me to get up early, serve others. I have a lot of knowledge gleaned from experience. I've taken a lot of losses and I've also won a lot as well. I know a lot of people. I've lived in a lot of places. I take that knowledge gained from life experience and I'm here to transfer it to you. Okay? You're getting your shot of rent in the morning. I'm like espresso, baby. But I'm going to tell you one last thing before we leave because I can't give you too much. Plus, I got work to do. I have clients. At the end of the day, you have to start living for yourself. Okay? That's where this all emanates from. Live for yourself. Stop living for others. Stop living based on what mommy told you to do. Stop living based on what pop culture tells you to do. Stop living off the fact that um, television and all these TV shows are steering you in another direction. You listen. I tell this everybody all the time. Turn the TV off. Turn people off. Turn people out. Tune into here and here. Figure you out first. You can't even get with me on branding until you figure yourself out. You know how many people come to me for branding and they don't even know themselves? And then I'm sitting there watching them confused at their at themselves because they haven't taken the time to learn themselves. And then they want me to brand them and do a huge campaign. And Let me tell you one thing. If you don't know yourself, you have no foundation. Get to the root of yourself. Treat yourself like an avocado. And I'm saying avocado because it's a healthy fat and you guys know I like to eat healthy food. Treat yourself like an avocado. You have all this great green meat around a core center seed. And that core center seed is rock solid. Hard. But it's sturdy. It's the centerpiece. It's the core of that fruit. And yes, an avocado is a fruit, not a vegetable. It's the core of the fruit. You can't penetrate that avocado seed. You can't compromise that avocado seed. If you put that avocado seed in the ground... It will spout forth trees full of other avocado fruit with other forthright, righteous, stand-up seeds. I didn't mean to go on an avocado rant, but I do love me some avocados. But what I wanted to say to finish this out, because I do have to get to work, even though I love you, is that you have to know yourself. Because with that foundation comes growth, development, and now actualization of how you envision your brand, your campaign, yourself. I promise you, I give you guys free jewelry every morning. Call me Jacob the Jeweler. Out this John. Woo! Shout out to Philly. All right, y'all. I love you to death. Thank you so much. I'm going to keep it moving. I got things to do. I hope you enjoyed it all. You know I got you every morning. Get your shot of your boy every morning. And man, it's been a great one. I love y'all, man. Peace out. I Facebook. Woo! Yeah. IG, what's goody? Who's on it? My man, Hot Ron. I'm coming back to the open bar one of these days, my man. What's up, daddy? All right, y'all. Peace. No, thank you, Ron. Woo! We love it. Peace.